What's up guys, Evil Deer here. Today I'm speaking in English because this video is actually a review of a book. The name of the book is Complete Esperanto and it teaches Esperanto from English. So naturally I'm going to speak in English to present this book. Now I wanted to present it, one, because I got a free copy of it, and two, one of the co-authors is actually a friend of mine. So the book is Complete Esperanto. It is a, it's actually really quite a nice book. I haven't seen a new textbook on Esperanto in quite some time that is as nice looking as this one. And look at that, it is thick. It is a big book so there is a lot of content in this book uh, you'll learn the 2,000 most common uh, words so you'll learn them confidently well it actually doesn't say 2,000 most common I'm assuming it's most common um, there's Judith who's my friend I've met her she's a really good Esperanto speaker I know Tim through the forums I know he's a good speaker but I've never actually met him it comes with audio online um, one thing I wanted to point out, as the lord and ruler of Amikumu, our logo appears on the back of the book, so I'm quite thrilled about that. Uh, so these are the things you're going to learn. So learn to learn. Tips and skills on how to be better at language learning, over um, outcomes-based learning, discovery method. I don't know anything about this discovery method. And you've got to test yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one little section of the book. Obviously, I can't show you the whole thing because then what's the point of buying the book? So I'm going to show you one little section of the book. Uh, let's just go straight to the contents and as you can see the contents is actually broken down into things you'd speak about so you've got your yeah, weather here you've got speaking with a friend you've got like you know, coffee or tea so I'm assuming that's like a situation where you'd be speaking about like what do you want to drink books um, exchanging phone numbers so you'll probably learn about numbers there um, do you have time on Friday so this is probably like appointments uh, so alligatoreo, that's like a cultural thing in Esperanto, it actually means like place of alligators or place where you speak other languages other than Esperanto. Um, so let's just jump to the section about in the airport, en la flughaveno, so that is page 134. Okay, so this is kind of how it breaks it down. So it's en la flughaveno, we're in that section, um, it tells you like what you're going to be learning like at what level type of thing, um, and it gives you a conversation like this section here. It's in English, but it presents words um, that you're going to be learning in their context, in the English sentence, but they're in Esperanto with their translation. So I thought that was quite handy to like learn words in context. Then you've got kind of like your vocab list, you've got some sentences related to the airport, and then you've got like a full-on section, like I'm kind of covering it now because I don't want to like reveal the whole thing. A full-on section of conversation, and then you've got like all the different parts that go with it, the grammar you learn with it, etc, etc. Another kind of cool thing is in the back of the book, there's actually a massive vocab list, and like translations and stuff. So that's basically the book. I can't show you too much in depth because it's obviously copyrighted, all that good stuff. So I just wanted to give you a quick little insight onto the book. So when I learned Esperanto, I learned Esperanto using a different book. And back then the books were like a lot more, like a lot smaller because people weren't prepared to pay a lot of money to get a decent sized book on Esperanto. Um, now this is only talking about eight years ago, but nowadays like you've got big companies such as Teach Yourself uh, bringing out books in Esperanto. I know Teach Yourself I think did a book on Esperanto a long time ago, but it went out of print. But anyway, I just wanted to show you their new book because it is beautiful and I plan to because I don't need this book like this is an expensive book and I don't need it it would just sit in my cupboard I plan to give it to one of my uh, learners over the next few days so you'll find out who receives that then so yeah um, if you've got the book let me know what you think in the comments um, if you haven't got it if you want to get it there's going to be a link in the description so you just got to follow that link and I hope that was enough to kind of wet your mouth type of thing in a good way so if you've liked this video like like it, share it around, sub to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. And if you're not there, well then I hate you and I'm going to bash you to death with this book.